Williams out there, sucking it up and bringing it down court. Jason Floyd on a flyer off the glass, off balance. He's a key player for them. They got to have Jason Floyd squirt from the wing. Under sensation. That's pretty tough to do. Hell of a one point in the second half. Babel packs it inside to Jones. He's doubled immediately. That leaves Collier open for three. Got to make that open shot. Babel a good rebounder. He goes back up with it. Had it blocked by Brand. Babel to be able to survive here tonight. And Margin Ferrer is on the bench and still floor. I got so quick. And another turnover. And here's going to be another slam by Carowell. Hello, Mr. Nestlug. Jones didn't make a clean catch. Still on the baseline. Gets off a decent shot. Cleared out of there by Burgess. I think he's really approved Alvin Jones. The problem is he's not playing with solid backcourt people in terms of experience. Langdon in the back. Well, he's getting a breather, but he hasn't had one in the early portion. Got that feed for the reverse dunk. They got this one on the breakaway and another right after it on the feed from Avery. So his six points and he gets a spot Work better for him. I didn't say that thing. They're right. But the player <laughs> personnel is a little bit probably better. Aikens missed a fadeaway from 15. Loose ball comes free to do. McKinnon. Oh, did you see that speed? Are you serious? Look at the way goes going for that. Take a look at Mr. McGinnis. I mean, look at this explosive dynamo from Chi-Town. Domzowski keeps it alive, though. McGinnis looks possessed to me tonight. I think he wants to really make up for his last two performances. Babel. You know what's scary? Coach K said today we may be better next year. We've <laughs> got so many different weapons. They got size, they got perimeter shooters. Langdon <laughs> leaves it for Brand. Oklahoma against Cincinnati. Jason hears everybody out of the way with a rebound. You know, you mentioned TCU. You people should watch Lee Neal on. He had 40 40 the other day and 13 rebounds for TCU. Tony Aikens buries a three and a little guy. Dude, shooting the ball a little bit too quickly, not making that extra pass that they normally do. Got 19 down to 11 until there, as Langdon has done it just about every way now. He's got a fly up, obviously, without Alvin Jones in there. They should attack on the inside a little bit more right now, Duke. Avery does in the lane. See, Avery immediately attacks the middle of the field rather than half empty, as he told them in a very positive way. He said, you're a special bunch and have a lot of good things ahead of you if you keep working. It's a masterpiece out of Lang. I guess he has a chance to become the all-time three-point shooter in the history of the SEC over Allen Houston, who has 346 threes. Of course, if there was a three-point shot with Pete Mayer, which was around the league, wow. wow. There's a foul by McGinnis. Up again. That great foul. Aikens got it out to Vines. Another missed three-pointer. Langa pulls it off the backside. Duke spreads the court really well when they come down in their secondary phase in a running game. Pop out from the wings. Open shots. Carroll wide open. And it's been two years since somebody. Now he can pay for him to come back and play it. That's right. We'll have a paycheck soon. 20, you knew that 20, 27 days from now, I guess the season starts. Batting a block by Collier. Got a second. Vines. Carowell all over Floyd. He's going to take the three anyway. Struggling shooting the basketball. Really struggling here tonight, Jason Floyd. Had a big game against Mount St. Mary's when he knocked down 31. Nobody playing defense. Wide open. Advantage. And the Cameron Crazy's bouncing with joy. And go get that in the backcourt because it was knocked away by Burgess. Hey, James, really trying to earn some playing time. Number 14. 10 on the shot clock. Collier for three is short. Georgia Tech has missed its last five shots. Burgess hook. Got it. Wow, Mr. I think Connecticut better come ready to play down in Miami at the Miami Arena in that game. Not kidding. Yeah. Eight, three. Brand's got six. Seven for Maggetti. Six for Burgess. Four for James. Not bad, huh? That's what makes them so special. Like, there's so many people that can hurt you. Babel lost in another Georgia Tech turnover. There are double figures on miscues. Avery pulls up 15-footer. All get it inside. Floyd did not have a good shooting half in the first half. And this one rattles out. Alec. Brand took it away from Jones. Brent just got those big paws. He just snatches that sucker. We're just the one-hander, the follow by unselfish as Brad just said. So many players want to be scoring. They want to take bad shots. Three on three. Brand on the break.
Frank, so impressed with the way they play together, with the way they play and the way they play on the defensive end. I mean, they manhandled a very good Maryland team. Now, Maryland's not an average basketball team. Mike, no plus. Certainly, Vic Bubis had great teams here when he was coaching. A brilliant tactic. Alvin Jones on the miss from T.J. Vines with only his second field goal. There's Mr. Jones on the inside. We haven't seen him spot any shots, and he's the head man of my human eraser team. Almost five a game. Didn't get a piece of the brand and double figure. She did a crowd, the inspiration, the coaching. Battier on Vines on the switch off, and Battier comes up with a steal. To McGinney on the run. An outstanding transition. Getting some scoring. Ragin would have lofted the three, but he lost the handle. He's got it back, though. There we go. There it's there. And you know where it's going, too. 52. Almost halfway through the second half. Duke got its way to its 14th win in 15 outings. Collier, nice tough rebound behind the back. Good move, but then he lost the handle. That's what Mike liked in his game, but he tried to recruit on a school for Ohio. Aikens had that one volleyball right back at him. Here goes Maggetti one on one with Pines. Pulls up swing. And he'll go up with it. Follow by Nozowski. Aikens. Nozowski with a rebound. The lead. Big oh, that was middle. wide open. He was wide open. They got it to him. Langdon pulls Count it. Got it. Just counted. If he gets it all. Maggetti. Oh, give it up. Trying to make a little bit earlier, Brad, is the fact that Georgia Tech, even though they get blown out tonight, look a lot better than they did in that blowout against Kentucky. Yes, they do. Duke looks just as good as they did.